Hello guys and welcome back to another tutorial. Uh, today we're going to be looking at how to create a randomizer or a random procedure that will um, basically delay something or it can be uh, a random chance uh, depending on how you set it up. Um, I've used the this particular procedure in the past to um, basically randomize crop and delay it a little bit longer. Also, it helps with random growth uh, for plants and stuff. The first thing that you want to do is create a block um, for this particular tutorial. Uh, we're just going to do a demonstration on how it works. So I'm just going to select a texture that I already have in. Um, this is just going to be our bulk of the tutorial to basically randomize a block. Um, it's just the best way I can currently figure out how to make it so it's um, understandable for you guys how the randomizer works. So we're not worried about the settings too much right now, we just need to create the block. And now we need to start working on the procedure end of things. So I'm going to call it um, just a procedure and uh, randomizer. That should be good for this tutorial. And what we want to do is go to... Um, so basically that is the where you want to connect the procedure to. Uh, that Anything that isn't connected to this won't work. So we need to connect some things in order to make this procedure actually do something. So the easiest way I've found is adding a condition uh, through an if statement and basically um, anything on the top slot of the if statement will be its condition and anything underneath that big box there will be the actual event that takes place. So if you add else then it's basically going to test for the first thing and then it's going to, if it's not true, then it'll do it else uh, regardless. If it's just this, then it will test only for that condition and the um, do anything. If not, then it won't do anything. If else, will basically um, proceed after it's false. But if it's if else, then basically what that will do is it'll test for two procedures and then if it's not true, then it won't do anything. But if there's an else added to it, then it will test for those two things. And then if it isn't true, then it'll do the else statement. So we're just going to do an if else statement because we need to test for something. And if it isn't true, we want it to do something else. And... Um, need to go to block, uh, we'll go with remove block, and we need to go to, is it random, and we need the number and finally we need the, I think it's, yeah, it's this one here. So we need that and then we place that in there. And the random part is the um, actual procedure to do the randomizer. This is our value. It needs to be one to zero. So zero to one, it can't be over one or it won't work. And you can use 0 0.001 or whatever, um, that will work as well. So 0.5 is a valid number, it's between 1 and 0, and so on. So if you're setting it to 0 0.05, that's 50% chance of it actually working. Um, we do need to add a block though. So we're going to add a block, and we're going to set it to let's set it to gold and we'll duplicate the remove and add another place so we'll go with where's iron there's iron okay we'll go with an iron block now there is something that you need to take in consideration is if it's set to equals like it is currently then what it's doing is it's um just um testing to see if it is the exact value of 0. 0.0 or 0. 
or 0 0.5. So basically it's testing if it's the exact number right now. This will test if it's greater than 0 0.5 and if that's true then it will do the first uh, thing. If it's not then it'll place iron. So that's basically how that's set up right now. Now the greater sign is actually um, basically um, not the exact value so it would be like uh, 4.99999 okay something like that if it's the underlined one then it will test for the exact value of uh, 0 0.5 or whatever um, for example if it's the greater than with the underline then it's uh, going to test for the exact number and above so we just want to also print out some text letting us know that um, it's greater than or less than and then we know that it's um, running that particular procedure. Uh, this is good for testing particular mods. It's basically like uh, if you're encoding or whatever you're outputting a uh, hello world or whatever test if a variable ended up running through and you can do that while testing just remember to remove your text afterwards and um, we'll be using this for um, our tutorial here so uh, right now we don't need to have that set to false so we're just gonna have it set to yeah we'll have it set to false so then it's in the chat bar uh, chat box rather than the um, action bar so that's good and all we really need to do now is test in game if it works and I know it will work already because um, it will work because I've tested it but we do need to set the block to the random procedure on place so so once you're in game um, I'll also leave the the um, particular uh, workspace on my forms or somewhere on my website where you guys can test it for yourself and see how it all works. Um, I, I find that people are having a better time coding things if they actually have an example, so I'll be doing that. So basically when we right click on the block, we have set it to right click, um, it basically runs the ren procedure and it will, um, as you can see, it's a random possibility of it being uh, iron or gold and um, it's a 50% chance because we've set it to greater than or um, to be gold and if it isn't gold then it's going to be iron so and it says what uh, procedure it's running on in the chat there so as you can see it's pretty accurate of being 50% we didn't set it to equal to so it's a little bit less than um, the other one so that's fine uh, just make sure when you're coding something precise to actually use the the proper greater than in order to make it so it's actually right but um, I think that's the best way I can actually show you how the random procedure uh, works um, as you can see it's randomizing I'll just do a quick uh, 5 by uh, 5 square and you can kind of see what the um, random possibility looks like will be a good little template so that's basically that that's pretty 50% right across the board there's not too much difference in the uh, variety of uh, between the colors and um, yeah that's basically how the randomizer works so it's pretty straightforward you can use this in custom crops and stuff to delay the um, the actual crops and it will also randomize the growth of it as well so that's how regular crops actually have the um, growth mechanism in place is it will grow randomly um, if you watch wheat grow I know it sounds crazy it's like watching grass grow but wheat will update randomly and that's how you would basically set the randomized procedure you just box it in with your condition and um, yeah, that's basically all you need. Uh, you can expand the the number value in the random part. Um, so it's like the 0 0.5. You can lower that number and make it um, 
less than rather than greater than and it will and it will basically um, expand the time uh, for the it will lower the chances of it actually happening so less than uh, 0.01 will be a really long time compared to 0.1 so uh, just some heads up um, on how to use the random procedure. I hope it helped. Um, if you have any questions, definitely comment down below or try the actual workspace. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, comment down below, and like the video, and it really helps when you guys do that, so um, definitely do that. And I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.